Japan's been something that you're uh, long, that you've liked. Do you still like Japan right now? Yes, and I, I, you know, there is obviously a lot of tough uh, macro news flow continuing to, to come in around Japan, but, it, but if you were waiting for the, the best macro environment to like Japan, you, you'd be waiting a long time. Um, so, so our view there is very <laughs> idiosyncratic. It continues to be our um, favorite international developed market, um, and I'll give you three quick reasons why. Um, the first, and this is such an important point, they have the strongest balance sheets globally. So 53% of Topix companies are net cash position. And if you look at the U.S., that number is around 17 percent, and for Europe, it's around 14 percent. Now, now, this is an important point because activist investors have uh, for a long time pushed on Japanese corporates to spend more of that cash. So I'm sure there's a lot of Japanese CEOs right now that are, um, uh, you know, kind of pointing to this as actually uh, a very good thing for them to have in this, in this dislocation. So expect to see more conversation there. Second thing is that Japanese valuations – um, came into this crisis more attractive. They're now around one times price to book, so that's similar to pre-abonomics, but the ROE has doubled because of, you and I have talked about this before, but these big improvements in corporate governance, um, and, and we do expect that uh, to, to, some of that to, to continue. And then third, there's great secular growth opportunities. These are limited at the country level, as already admitted, but they're really abundant at the company level. So we like electronic vehicle plays, robotics. Japan's obviously short of workers. China has a lot of workers, but there's wage inflation, so you, they want more robots. And then, of course, um, selectively exposure to Chinese consumer. And I could give one quick company example there to illustrate if that's helpful, Alex. Always, always, Katie. You never have to ask. Okay, so on, um, I, we would point to Kaons here. So this is this is a company that um, uh, they basically make robots smarter and enable this concept of cobots, which is humans and robots working together. And specifically, they make the sensors or the eyes of the robot. And they do things um, as simple as reading barcodes or as complicated as a 3D vision system that can identify and select individual items in a large box. You can imagine how important that technology is for companies like Amazon, where they have to do the picking of items and, and the packing. Um, and this is a very high margin business. I think they have about 55 percent margins. And kind of back to our, our, set, our first point around balance sheets, they have 10 percent of the market cap in cash. So Japan overall, macro mm. challenge, but a lot of opportunities at the stock level. Level.